Well, hello everybody, welcome back to another graphic arc video, but this time we won't be testing A770, but uh, we will be actually testing A380, and well, which better game to try than the first one I did on Intel Arc A770, which is Modern Warfare 2. Intel was giving away this game with the purchase of Intel Arc back then, so I gladly took the bait and purchased it, which you probably all know. But uh, now here we have uh, Intel Arc A380. Just quickly let me set settings here, everything to the max, so we can uh, see if we get uh, <laughs> actually any good performance out of this card at 1440p, mind you. We will also be testing 1080p later on and of course optimize settings because uh, they are much needed to... Uh, you will see what I mean later on <laughs> in the game, I mean in the video when I will show you. Uh, so yeah, let me go here, Himlet Expo. This is a new map, I haven't tested it out and uh, I cut the part, so here we are inside the game match. and as you can see <laughs> at 1440p without upscaling, guys. A380 is able to actually output 30 FPS, which is uh, I'm quite amazing for a 150 euro card, I guess. Uh, I do actually get tomorrow a 650 Super, so I will also maybe uh, record that and do a side-by-side -side comparison which graphic card actually works better, but uh, yeah, we hope, uh, we will see if uh, a380 will actually beat 1650 super, but uh, at 1440p here guys, uh, 30 FPS, uh, it's not constant, but it's uh, possible by lowering some settings we can actually get uh, 30 FPS, except here indoors, uh, the reflections are killing me. <laughs> oh, by the way, do you see the GPU clock speed? It's above normal, yes, I was actually taking some overclocking on this card, but uh, this is currently the state of that I got. 3000 MHz might be possible, but um, yeah, I'm not so sure about Enemy that. So I will play around and maybe make another video later on and uh, hopefully get uh, something out. Okay, let's go, guys. Here, let me show you. Turn on, uh, what do you say, uh, upscaling? Huh? Shall we use XCSS and uh, see if we actually get any better performance? Uh, we can actually put balanced or even performance is better than uh, 1080p native if you render at 1440p and performance, at least that's based on my opinion, but you actually need a 1440p monitor, so Have your back. if you do this at 1080p, uh, I heard uh, people like to upscale to 1440p and then use the upscaling technique like DLSS or CSS and put it to either balanced or uh, quality if the game allows it and uh, you will actually have a better uh, screen quality at textures and stuff than running native at 1080 so maybe give it that a try oh he got me oh by the way my aiming skills are not that good when i'm playing at 30 fps so <laughs> let me quickly change to performance and see xcss if it will give me any boost i do know it needs a few seconds to actually um, you know start working correctly as you can see now we got about 30 fps and the graphics still looked okay uh, except there were a bit uh, more when I turned on performance, so not sure what gives but uh, it's uh, working uh, above 30 fps <laughs> yeah i personally wouldn't call this playable because in this game you need at least 6 fps to be some sort of uh, competitive with other people but uh, here we go you can see uh, we get some kills no worries <laughs> oh yeah here everything crashed and I lost sound when I was recording, but uh, I will do some commentary and uh, switch here to uh, 1080p gameplay later on, but uh, just some more 1440p gameplay so we can see how it works with XCSS performance. Uh, but yeah, let's go here to the graphic options and switch to 1080p because this is what this card is actually for. and. Uh, at max settings with XCSS off, let's see what we get. We get about, oh, oh wait, uh, I was actually expecting a, a little bit better performance than on, <laughs> uh, on 1440p. We got the same FPS <laughs> as we get at 1080p, which, um, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on over here, but uh, 
you can expect uh, also a 30 fps uh, kind of stable experience <laughs> oh my god uh yeah i will uh, try and lower some settings in a bit but let me just uh, do one more dead here and run around and see what kind of fps we get but uh, at 1080p i don't know 30 fps is what you would expect at a380 intel r graphic card and this do note it's overclocked so <laughs> Uh, I will also try and put stock setting, but I don't think that overclocking gives much of performance difference in this case. Uh, but I will make another video and test a few games if overclock and gives you any percentage boost or not. So yeah, what shall I do? What shall I do? Huh? What guys? What do you want me to do? Let's go to graphic options and maybe optimize some settings. Maybe we can get a 60 FPS. Huh? What do you say guys? Let's go here and uh, just turn off some settings and uh, We will see if we will get uh, 60 FPS uh, right now in the menu. We have 60 FPS which <laughs> doesn't really matter because we need in-game 60 FPS so um, just copy my settings this is what i use on most of the systems so if they are at the budget end like a380 1650 and uh, maybe uh, even at 2060 is uh, super uh, last time i tested the graphic card and i was really impressed what uh, the 2060 and 2060 super can still do so that's good all good uh, but uh, now see with optimized settings we are getting around 45 fps which is uh, a lot better than the previous experience when we dropped even below 30 and we even picked above 60 just at the right moment back there uh, so yeah hmm. it's still not a perfect 60 fps experience so uh, in this case maybe i would advise to actually turn on xess to get that stable 60 either at uh, yeah quality mode is probably the one you should be using all ultra quality at 1080p because everything else just looks muddy blurry so um, you won't like that experience uh, so yeah i mean i was getting some frags here and there without any problem much easier with 50 fps than it was before at 25 20 30 <laughs> my input was uh, delayed big time so uh, here my teammate saved me thank you my friend he put uav and uh, this guy was camping back there in the corner yo what the hell are they doing but uh, yeah even at 1080p optimized settings uh, you won't be able to get uh, 60 fps in this uh, new modern warfare 2 uh, do know this is also a multiplayer so uh, i'm not sure if i want to try warzone out because there i'm sure we would be getting at least uh, 15 fps less if not even uh, more or less <laughs> But yeah, if you want me to test Warzone, I will gladly do it. Um, I will, and uh, just let me know down in the comments below, and uh, we'll see uh, if a lot many of you want to see gameplay of Warzone. I will do it. No worries. This guy was toasted when I got up the stairs. <laughs> he couldn't do anything. Oh, by the way, I was also playing without sound. So uh, it kind of represents the current <laughs> the experience I had when I was uh, playing. So anyways, let's go to the options settings. And uh, what do you say, guys? Shall we turn on XCSS to quality and see if we get 60 FPS? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. You know, high, high on life. <laughs> Is, let's do it. <laughs> ah, look at these guys. Look, it's good. It's uh, showing really uh, promising uh, results. I mean, it's still not <laughs> 60, but it's getting about 50 FPS average, which... Uh, is uh, playable especially if you got a variable refresh rate display you will not notice that it lags so um yeah it's not ideal but it's playable now you decide if you want to buy a380 for modern warfare 2 or you will actually buy yourself an intel arc a770 and enjoy the performance it gives <laughs> 
remember intel is constantly updating drivers and if they won't be updating drivers i will gladly remind them to check the games out that are lagging or not working correctly and hopefully we, they will fix it and we can play in peace <laughs> remember what happened uh, with uh, resident evil 4 demo uh, we were waiting for the drivers i was constantly uh, telling around that it's not working that good that the performance should be better and they even they even saw my video so uh, yeah we got a new driver update which uh, improved the performance in resident evil 4 like crazy we, instead of 15 uh, 20 fps at a770 we were getting getting above 55 even 60 fps maximum settings even with ray tracing on so keep it up intel you got this give us the optimized drivers we deserve and uh, i'm sure many more people will be buying your graphic cards uh, just yesterday at my uh, local uh, repair shop uh, I had one guy on Discord say Yo, which graphic card you wanna buy? I'm looking at AMD And then I quickly said, dude, check out Intel And he said, oh, maybe I will And I gave him my channel name here, link And he checked the videos and said uh, I will think about it, I will think about it And then uh, today, this morning He sent me a picture of A770 He got it new but used for 280 euros And I was like, what dude, are you serious? Man, enjoy the card, which I'm sure he will Because 280 euro is a really good deal <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, guys, here we go uh, maybe this is the best experience you can have uh, use 1440p and uh, test XCSS either at performance on balanced and uh, you will get about 50 fps average at the optimized settings and the graphic quality will be a lot better at 1080p and XCSS so yeah it's kind of playable but uh, I personally wouldn't play with this kind of fps so uh, you decide if you want or not and uh, Thank you for watching my uh, first Intel Arc A380 video. There were some problems when I was recording, so uh, sorry for that. I will make sure the next video will be better. And uh, you know what you have to do? Like this video, subscribe, ring the notification bell. And uh, we will see you in the next one, guys. Peace out. You can give me some ideas in the comments what you want me to record, but I have a few videos planned for the upcoming week before I leave. So, yeah, enjoy uh, and uh, happy Sunday. Bye bye.